Hey everyone, Hassan Fazal here and today we are learning how to make cash flow summary in Excel using just pivot tables. All right, let's have a look at the data that we will be using for this tutorial. And this time we have the data scattered in three different worksheets, unlike the data we usually have in just one worksheet. So we have the cash transactions for the month of April, May and June. And our objective is to consolidate this data into one cash flow summary report. First thing first, I have to consolidate the data itself. Like at the moment, I have three months data scattered in three different worksheets. First of all, I have to prepare a new worksheet where the data for these three months is consolidated as one. And then I will be applying or using pivot tables to generate a report. So let's see how this is done. Have an active cell inside the table and you can start with any of these, but it's always good to start with the first in the series. And for me, it is April 14th. So having an active cell inside the table, go to data tab and under get and transform group, click from table. This will launch Power Query and the table will be imported into Power Query platform. It's the same table, just the formatting is a little different one. So it might appear or look that it is something different. Okay, so what I want to do in Power Query is to process these two columns. At the moment, I have the receipts in paid in column and the payments with values in paid out column. What I want is that in front of every transaction, I have the type of the transaction. For example, if it is a payment, I should have a paid out in front of it. And if it is a receipt transaction, then I should have paid in in front of that transaction. And also the value for each transaction. So let's see how this is done. Select the first column, press and hold control key on the keyboard and left click on the second column header. This will select both of these columns for us. Go to transform tab and click unpivot column. Now you can see that we have two new columns, one with attribute and every transaction has its own type now. For example, this one is a payment and this one is a receipt. And I have the value for each transaction in another column called value. We don't need the available column now. It's redundant, so I can get rid of it by right click on it and then clicking remove. Let's change the name of the attribute column. Let's have it as type, press enter, and it will rename the column. Now I have the table the way I want it, and I need to save this. So go to home tab and click close, sorry. Yeah, close and load button and it will insert a new worksheet with the modified table for me. This is what we have. Let's give it a name, April 14th. So this is what I have after the reprocessed information and this is what it was before, okay? I will perform the same steps on May and June's data. So let me just do it quickly on the screen. All right, so now we have three different tables that are processed just for pivotable purposes. The reason why I have rearranged the data in this form is because it's much easier to prepare summary report and arrange transaction under these two headings, that is receipts and payments. It will be much easier for me to explain once I make a pivot table in front of you. So what we need to do now is to consolidate the data that we have just reprocessed for pivot table purposes. Have an active cell inside the new tables that we have generated. Go to Query tab and then click Append. A new dialog box will appear. Select three or more tables. This is the active table that I have at the moment. Uh, what I want to do is to append the data from table three after table one and then, and then the data from table five after table three. So, Click table three, add, and then table five, add. 
Now the data will be appended in the same series that I have asked Excel to do it for me. Press OK. And this is the table that has the consolidated data from all three months. Okay. Now before I save this data, uh, let me just correct the format of this. This is basically date. Now this is correct. Yeah, so see that April, May, and June. Okay. Now we can save this. Go to Home tab, click Save, and let's give it a name as Consolidated Data. Okay. Now we have the consolidated data ready for pivot table. Have an active cell inside the table. Go to Insert tab, click Pivot table. A new dialog box will appear. Simply press OK and close this one. And now we have the pivot table base with the field options on the right. Uh, what I need to do is remember the description basically is the transactions. Like I have paid for things or the receipts that I had. And type means the type of the transaction and value is the value of the transaction. Okay, so what I want is I need to have the type so that I can divide the receipts and payments. And then I need the transactions under each type. See that it has already divided the transactions for me under the receipts and payments quickly. And then in order to get the values for these transactions, I will simply drag the value in the value quadrant. That's it. We have the receipts and payments cash flow summary done. Now only the formatting is left or if I want the report to be divided into three months instead of having a consolidated figure for three months together, what I can do is I can drag date field in the columns and I have April, May, and June separated in the summary report. I can have the grand totals. I can get rid of them. It's, my, it's up to me. It's just what I desire or what I like. I can even turn these labels off. Field headers, see that? And I can even get rid of this one. Simply press F2, select, have a space bar, press enter. Okay, so there you have it. You have the cash flow summary for three months done in just a matter of few minutes. Now, if I have the opening balance, suppose it's $1,500. And now I have the receipts for the period. I have the payments for the period and then I can have the closing balance for the period. Okay, now I can get the receipts for the period from this report. I can get the payments for this period from this report and I can calculate the closing balance easily, just like this, All right? Now this is the opening balance for the next period. I can drag the calculation to the next one and I can have the calculations for the next period as well. Okay. Now I can format them further if I wish, like having some, like having this text expressed in bold font and having the borders just to emphasize the totals. I can even rename this into receipts and I can have this as payments and that's it. It's done. So there you have it guys, a full fledged formal looking cash flow summary done all in pivot tables with no hassles or working around in formulas and above all done in few clicks. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. More are coming soon. So please like and subscribe if you liked it and do share if you think it can help others to learn as well. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.